Welcome back to ECMA TV. With us in our studio now, having just delivered a fantastic keynote all the way from Liverpool in the UK, Professor Tom Solomon, an expert around the world recognized for his work in infections within the brain and particularly emerging brain infections as well. Tom, it's an awesome pleasure to have you with us, sir. Um, your keynote, incredibly well received. What was the main essence of it? Well, there's a lot of interest in emerging brain infections at the moment, especially with the Zika virus causing problems in Latin America. Before that, we had West Nile virus causing problems in America. We've been working on brain infections for the last 20 years or so, initially on this virus called Japanese encephalitis virus in Asia. And the, the bottom line of the presentation, I guess, is that we have been using the approaches we've developed over the last 20 years to help tackle some of these current problems. Now, I've heard in your presentation you got a bit of funding involved from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation mm. as well, which helped you do a massive exercise in India. Mm. What was that about? Well, for Japanese encephalitis virus, this is a mosquito-borne virus. Uh, it causes about 70,000 cases every year. And there are vaccines available. There have been for some years. But one of the problems was just kick-starting the vaccination programs, filling in the gaps, if you like, in knowledge to allow people to use the vaccines gaps such as how much disease there really was, could we improve the diagnostics, how much of a problem was the disease in terms of disease burden. These are not just about how many people they kill, but sadly also how many people are left with disability, because if you're left with disability, you're actually more expensive to, to society. Yes, and I mean, you're describing a bit of a catch-22, because until your studies came along, there were no real answers to a lot of problems that everybody recognised. That's right, everyone knew it was a problem, but the governments were not um, asking for the vaccines because the vaccines seem too expensive. Meanwhile, the manufacturers, particularly of the live Chinese vaccine, said they could make more and they could bring the price down, but governments are not asking for it. So this was a programme funded by the Gates Foundation, a consortium of many partners across Asia and also Europe and America, led by the PATH Foundation, uh, to kickstart the whole thing. And, and, and we had um, yeah, many millions vaccinated over a, a five-year period. Which is quite appropriate, really, because not only was the campaign for vaccination successful, but long term, a great deal cheaper than the cost of the vaccines That's in terms right. of lives saved. That's right. Some of the work we did. So we think, the, we think over the years there's been about uh, 800,000 cases avoided, about 200,000 deaths avoided, and we think it's saved money. Um, one of the challenges now, though, is for, to keep... Uh, keep the pressure, the encouragement on governments to keep using the vaccine because of course once a disease goes down a bit they then think it's gone away but these are viruses which are transmitted by mosquitoes from animals they're not going to be eradicated like polio they're, they're always going to be there and we have to keep up the vaccination programs. So Liverpool is the go-to place for most things to do with the brain um, <laughs> you're quite proud of that statement really in many respects as well. Well, we've, we've worked on brain infections for many years. Yes. Um, when I started in this area 20 years ago or more, uh, I think people thought it was slightly odd. But we've got together neurologists, infectious disease doctors, microbiologists. We've, we've got about 25 people in my team. Um, I also head the Institute of Infection and Global Health in Liverpool, which has about 300 people in it. So we're working on brain infections, but we're also working on many of the other major global infection threats. Uh, including uh, antimicrobial resistance, emerging pathogens, zoonoses, those transmitted from animals. And um, uh, also, uh, we do a lot of work relating to food security, so infection, infections of animals that, that impair the food supply. So final question then, back to your presentation. The key walkaway that you wanted the audience to leave with from this presentation at Congress today? I guess we just need people to think about brain infections a bit more to, you know, many of the people here are clinicians, and surprisingly, despite the devastating nature of these diseases, clinicians often don't think about them when patients first present, because they present in subtle ways. And so if we've just raised awareness a little bit, especially today, with it being World Meningitis Day, it's not a bad day to be getting this message out. Yes, a day for trusting your instincts. Trust your instincts. I love it. Thank you for being with us in the Ekman TV studio. Thank you. Pleasure to meet you, Tom. Thank you.